Hey, Andrew Morrison, back with another Straw Bale Minute. Uh, this week I want to talk to you about uh, steel framing. Steel framing has become pretty popular, especially in uh, uh, commercial applications, and it has its uses in straw bale structures as well. Now, someone who's used to working with steel frame is going to want to stay with it because that's what they're used to. Uh, some advantages of it are it's extremely light material to work with. Uh, you can find recycled steel um, studs and beams and so forth, and that's a nice way to work. Some of the disadvantages are it's not as simple to work with in terms of uh, you know, people using a hammer and a nail that's in that seems to come to most people, whereas uh, having to use tap screws or and or welding or anything like that makes for some, some new skills you may need to learn. Also, you don't want to be welding on a straw bale site if you can avoid it. Uh, now, the other thing that you need to do or keep in mind when you're working with steel is that you'll need to isolate it from the bales. And the reason being that if you do get some warm air, especially if the, the, uh, the beams are on the outside of the house and they're cold, and you get some warm air, and although we're not pushing a whole lot of vapor through the walls, you get enough air in, in there that you can actually condense some of the moisture that may be in the bales. Now again, over time, the bale walls are going to acclimate to whatever the moisture content of the air is in your area. So there will be some moisture in the, in the, just inherently in the walls. Now if, you, if you're moving that air and it's warm air and it hits those bales, any moisture that's in there is going to, is going to get wicked out or condensed out onto the steel. So be sure to wrap the steel framing in either roofing felt or apply some type of uh, waterproofing material onto it that will isolate the bales from the steel. See you next week.